Hello, I'm Dr. Larissa Chisholm, and I'm a psychiatrist, bringing you your Mental Health Minute for the day. I'm here to talk about mental illness. Mental illnesses are psychiatric conditions that disrupt a person's thinking, their feeling, their mood, their ability to relate to others, and their ability to cope with the demands of daily life. About 1 in 17 Americans has a serious mental illness. Serious mental illnesses include things like major depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, which is commonly known as manic depression. They also include certain anxiety disorders and certain personality disorders. Mental illnesses can affect a person of any age, race, religion, or socioeconomic status. Although often stigmatized, mental illnesses are not the result of personal weakness, character defects, poor upbringing, or lack of faith. Mental illnesses are treatable psychiatric conditions. If you or your loved one is suffering from a serious mental illness or you simply want to know more about what signs and symptoms to look for, please consult your physician. Thank you for your attention, and I'm Dr. Larissa Chisholm bringing you the Mental Health Minute for the day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Larissa Chisholm, and I'm a psychiatrist. I'm here to give you the Mental Health Minute of the day on depression. Sometimes people use the word depression to describe feeling a little sad or feeling a little blue, but depression is actually more than that. Major depression or clinical depression is a psychiatric condition that affects 5 to 8 percent of adult Americans in any 12-month period of time. So in other words, during the course of a year, approximately 15 million Americans will be suffering from major depression, also known as clinical depression. Clinical or major depression exists when a person experiences persistently low mood for at least two week period of time accompanied by four or more of the following symptoms. And those symptoms are decreased sleep, decreased interest, excessive guilt, decreased energy, poor concentration, increased or decreased appetite, and thoughts of suicide. Many things can contribute to the development of depression. If you want to know more about depression, or if you think that you or a loved one is suffering from depression, please don't hesitate to contact or consult your physician. Thank you for your attention, and I'm Dr. Larissa Chisholm bringing your Mental Health Unit for the day. Thank you.